What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada as I do Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content and videos. Um, today's video, I'm still going to go live tonight, but today's video, I wanted to do a flip through of the five patchwork junk journals that I have for sale currently in my shop. Um, it is number 116, 117, 118, 119, and 121. 120 is sold. Uh, however, I will show it off. I did make these junk journals live here on my channel. So if you have been following me, you've seen me go from cereal box to working on the cover to working on the signatures, decorating all live here on my channel. So if that is what you're into, please do make sure to subscribe and uh, give me a little like on this video. It really helps me out. Now, all of these journals are eight and a half inches tall. The spine varies, but they are a minimum of two inch, um, and this is five and a half inch right here. Um, this one is number 116. Uh, let me leave a link to where you can find these. Hi, Miss Jude, how are you, girlfriend? Um, so this is 116, three signatures, fully decorated junk journal. I made a patchwork cover myself. The cover's made from cereal boxes, reinforced. It comes with its own dangle. I think it's seven inch, I believe I say seven inch dangle. Um, and let's see here. This one has, uh, 38 pages, 76 total, one full done in half, and 38 journal cards. So let's see what is inside here. Um, it has a really pretty neutral uh, inside cover with some pretty peachy pink flowers, which I adore. I have all of my ruffles here. It has about two, uh, four strips of ruffles per signature here. Like I said, every single uh, signature is decorated, and there's something to see on every page. Plenty of journal cards on pages where there is no room to journal. So let's see, we're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> the, the, I always say these junk journal flip throughs aren't going to take me long, and then they do. There's a journal card right there. And of course, I use all sorts of printables from my shop. So if you are interested in junk journal printables, you can check out my store. I use many, many, many junk journals to do this. Just so you know, number 116 does contain some female nipple action, illustrated female nipple action. Just so you know. Just, you know, number 116, specifically. <laughs> I do have to mention that. <laughs> Hi, Ms. Vanessa, how are you? I hope you're having a good day. I hope everybody is having a good Memorial Day. I hope everybody had a good Memorial Day weekend. All I did was work on ruffles. I made a bunch of ruffles, <laughs> a bunch, a bunch of ruffles for my next journals, which we should start today. I think we're going to have enough time to start. Um, unless I make ruffles tonight. I don't know. We'll see what I decide to do. Uh, see, I mean, there's a bunch of different types of pages, line pages, uh, book pages, as you can see here. Here are some book pages that I've made into a three-way pocket. Let's see right there. They look so cute. Hi, Miss Donna. How are you? Thank you so much. Hope everybody's having a good day. Here's just a piece of fabric here you can write on. Lots of writing spaces in these journals. Here's a little envelope. It just has a little journal card in there. It's really tucked in well. Let's just leave it in there. It's nice and tucked in there. There we go. Again, lots of embellishments on every single page. There's something to see. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, and then I scanned my patchwork fabric. And I made them into printables as well. So I included that. Uh, so much to see in these journals. I love it. Uh, here's a map book page right there. There is a, a, a book page tag that I made a while ago. I love it. And this pocket that I decorated a while ago too. I did one this live. So if you check out my channel, I do something new pretty much every single day. Something... Something new every day. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing in my craft room. It's what I enjoy doing. Like I said, tonight we'll start our new junk journal, so I'm excited. I'm going to use up some of the boxes that I've been hoarding. I normally go for this full size 8.5 by 11. Um, 
but I'm going to uh, use my smaller boxes too, so those will be coming, I don't know, in a week or two, probably two weeks. It usually takes me two weeks to finish a collection, so I'm happy about it. Thank you, Miss Donna. Here's a little a postage stamp embellishment there down at the top corner. I know, I hoard. I do sometimes hoard cereal boxes and other product boxes. But I've come to realize I actually really like, like I said, making a full-size journal is better. But I ran out of cereal boxes, so I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I was almost about to buy chipboard, but I don't know what size, I don't know what thickness chipboard I need. So I figure don't even bother. Just do the smaller size cereal boxes until you gather up some more. Lots of flowers. There's no theme in this journal. Pretty much just flowers everywhere. A lot of positive quotes and things like that. Uplifting quotes and things like this. Oh, I love it. This is for my Ambrosia and Vogue uh, journal kit. I just used random things that I have left over from printing and testing and all that. Here's another pocket here. And there's something in every tuck spot or something in every pocket, etc., etc. I really like to um, deck these on real well. There's this pretty lady. She reminds me of this one girl that I knew growing up. <laughs> And it does. Here's a little text spot right here. A little beautiful little mason jar embellishment. I love it. I need to make more of these. I, I made a lot of them the time that I made them, so you haven't seen me make these, but I do I do uh, like to just decorate little jars like that. Here are the little cards that are in this pocket right here. And I'm going to pin the link to my shop. When I buy chipboard, I always get 12 by 12 size. I can always use the leftovers for smaller projects. I don't use foam dots to lift up ephemera. For my shadow boxes, I use leftover chipboard pieces. <sighs> I already have so many chipboard pieces, though. I was thinking of buying the 8.5 by 11. And if I cut it in half, those are my covers. And then I do have extra chipboard pieces that I can use for the spine, and I can make my own spine size. Here's some Monopoly money in here, <laughs> some random Monopoly money you can write on it. This is a big old journaling card right here. It's so cute. Just found it in my stash, but I thought it was, like, adorable. Cute little pink swatch here. There I have a lot of journaling spots where there where there normally isn't any writing space, so I do try and do that. There's another journal card. This is one of my hanky printables, which actually prints on one page, but I shrunk them down to print two on one page. And I printed these out in, in cardstock, so they make the most awesome pockets. I love these pockets right here. What uh, what thickness do you buy, uh, Donna, though, in the chipboard? What thickness? Because I have no idea what would be equivalent to two pieces of cereal box. I don't know. Because I put two pieces of cereal boxes together to make these covers here as thick as I want them to be. Well, my stash of cereal boxes is finally gone. <laughs> I only have a stash of small boxes, which I guess I'll get through. I'm going to have to get through. I've been avoiding them long enough. <laughs> Here's a pocket right here. And I put a little um, die cut shape in there. And a uh, Project Life card. They forget me to wait. They don't... They ask for... They, they say a weight size. They don't just say thin or, I don't think I, I've seen them say thin or medium. They literally have a size by like gram, you know what I mean? Okay, so there's number 116. 
This one has a pretty green thread in the detail between the pouches. I'm gonna get the next one. Number 117. This one has neon pink uh, in between the stitches. And of course you get your beautiful uh, colorful dangle with it. I love making these multicolored dangles. Um, Donna says I just recently retired, so I'm trying very hard to use up what I hoarded <laughs> while I was working and could afford to buy cross ties. I hear you on that. I hear you on that. When I was uh, when, 10 plus years ago, <laughs> when I was last let go from the last job I was let go from, <laughs> I did the same thing. I was like, oh, no, I finally have time to use up all these supplies that I bought when I didn't have time. <laughs> I do have some of these really beautiful doilies that I got from Michael's a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. They are gone. I'm so sad that they are gone. They have been fully used up. There's a journal card right here. I'm inspired by these. I have to get busy. I have so many things I want to make. Yes, it's time to get busy. I have this card here. Put some little ruffles on it. There's another doily. A pocket here with a journal card. Project Life card there too. There's a recipe for here for cheesy potatoes if you'd like to read through and make it. <laughs> I love using recipe books that I cut apart. I cut apart all the recipes and use recipes on their own. There's a lot of butterflies in these journals too. There's no real theme. Just a lot of writing space. If somebody beeps again, I'm getting mad. <laughs> oh, these are so pretty. These journals are just places for me to put all these different embellishments I've made. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun with these. I got these done rather fast. I really can't tell you that I've had this attention span uh, any other time because I have not. Oh, I didn't read the facts of number 117. Let me see here. Let me find it. Number 117 has 36 pages, 72 total when you cut them full in half. And then they also have, uh, this one has 35 journal cards. 35 journal cards. I cannot believe I've, I'm already up to junk journal number, what, 122? That's insane. Made 122 junk journals. Pretty much sold them all. That's crazy. Here's another book page pocket. I mean, tag. And then some of the fabrics used here are the fabrics that I used in the patchwork junk journal as well. Those are um, bed sheets. All the patchworks are made from uh, bed sheet fabrics that I got at the thrift shop. Of course, they were washed right away. <laughs> There's no worries with them, but they are so beautiful. And I'm so happy that's how I can get a variety of, uh, of fabrics. Again, you see the ruffles throughout. Um, let me see, here's a journal card right here that I stitched together. Isn't that pretty? I love making those. And that's fabric right here. There's another little journal pocket there. A journal card, I should say. This lady in green over here. Uh, this is delight in little things that are all your own. Again, there's really cute little positive quotes throughout. There's a vintage printable here. Um, I didn't realize there was two cards there. Maybe we'll just leave this one. <laughs> this journal card right there. Let's see, there's lots of journaling space in these. Safina, hi, Miss Safina. How are you, Miss Safina? Here's the other side of this pocket. This treat, it's actually a treat bag from the dollar store. But I love these. This is December there. They make cute little um, pockets and signatures. Here's another one of those doily pockets that I love. These are uh, handkerchief pockets. Love those. 
Hi, Miss Patricia. How are you? How are you? Okay, so again, this is number 117. This one has the uh, pink accents, and I think, yeah, I did the whole cover in pink. And I also sewed in the, uh, the ruffles in the pink thread, too, just to kind of match it up. Here's more junk journal uh, cards here. Small steps every day. This book, I love this book. If y'all um, are interested, it's actually called Breakfast for Lovers. It's awesome. I talk about it all the time. Here's an index card that I collaged on top of. I'm glad you are well, Miss Patricia. Are you still moving? Oh, no. <laughs> Here's a pink swatch card. Oh, this is another one of those um, women's handkerchief printables right here that I love. Love the way it's shaped and everything so unique about it. I love it. So I leave, of course, in between the pages of the signature. This is beautiful lady in red here. She's one of my um, printables, one of my uh, ephemera sets. Here's a tag, fabric tag here, and a little journal card on this pocket that I made here. It looks so pretty. I try to put two of my um, tags per journal. One second. Turn on the fan. I'm getting warm. Every time I go live, I get warm. <laughs> it's it's gonna happen. <laughs> I gotta turn on the fan. The fan, y'all. Okay. Uh, this year, every day is a fresh start. Make sure I put my microphone back on. <laughs> I did. Here's a little label that I decorated with some flowers. Here's another page for my Ambrosia and Vogue. Journal, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's what it is. Here's another one of my um, women's hankies printables, but I printed it out two on one, so they print out really small, and then I can use them as little pockets like this. I love it. I am in love with the idea. Oh, Miss Patricia's still moving. <laughs> Here's a recipe for pierogi casserole. I love this page. I didn't want to cover it up a lot, so I covered up the bottom part. Here is a pretty little stamp embellishment. Little today's schedule um, memo pad. That's actually a printable for my shop. I love that. I love it. Here's another one of the women's handkerchiefs printables. They just look so cute. And this uh, card here is actually from a from one of my scrap paper pads. I'm just like, just put it in. I just gotta get rid of stuff, just put it in. Here's a bingo card, journal spot right here. I guess there is also female illustrated nudity in number 117, just so you know. Some people are not comfortable with that, but I do have to let you know. <laughs> That's number 116 and 117. <laughs> so watch out. Just a warning. Um, this one says here, prove them wrong. Just a lot of journaling space everywhere. Oh, this is one of the fun uh, tags that I actually <laughs> use to test my uh, tags on. Or not my tags, my uh, my uh, stamp, my office stamps that I bought at the thrift shop. And I just decided to put that in. It actually looks pretty cute. It looks like I meant it. <laughs> and here's a Project Life card right here. And here's a, uh, I love this, this uh, journal card I actually uh, collaged and I made it into a printable. So here's a printed version of it. Just a pretty little ephemera piece right here behind this uh, jar tuck spot that I love. This says here you pull it differently when you're truly happy. Which is adorable. Again, a lot of details on every single page, a lot of uh, bright colors of these journals. A lot, a lot of bright colors, a lot of flowers. As you can see, there's flowers everywhere. Journaling space everywhere. Here's another one of those collaged 
uh, journal cards I made. There's a journal card right here. This is another one of those uh, three pockets that I love. I love making these three pocket pockets. A flower jar in there. A little uh, flower applique up there. And this is normal as well. So that's number 117. Again, it has the bright neon pink stitches in between the patchwork. And of course, that comes with its lovely dangle. Okay, let's go to number 118 now. And number 118, QA, what's your favorite element in creating your pages? I guess flowers. I have to, I have to add flowers to everything. <laughs> So I guess flowers. I guess flowers. <laughs> okay, so this one's number 118. And number 118 has a uh, light uh, purple stitches in between the patches. Uh, number 118 has 38 pages, 76 total, and 36 journal cards. And of course, you get a beautiful dangle, which I love. Just a random colorful bee dangle. Okay, so number 118. Oh no, I still have to, I have till one of them. Mm -hmm. I have till 121, so I still have a couple of them to go through. Again, I did use the same fabric on all the inside of them. They all might be different like panels from the fabric, but they are all the same. Peachy pink flowers on the inside. Again, three signatures, again, fully decorated. out here. Make sure I'm in shot. Make sure we're focused. Lots of colors. Lots of random colors. I really try not to worry about like doing all one color or one theme, anything like that. I just kind of go for it and put whatever I want on the page. <laughs> Awesome. This is actually a treat bag here from the dollar store. And I go to the dollar store and I don't see any treat bags. So what is up with that? I don't know. I don't see any treat bags, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to uh, different dollar stores. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh, and this uh, journal here has the... Uh, the trim that's just lace attached to some fabric. So you see there, that's the kind of trim this one has. This one doesn't have um, ruffles. At some point I ran out of ruffles. <laughs> I ran out of ruffles and I started looking for other tricks. So I had some of this left and I was like, well, this is going in. It's going in. Jar purple right there. Just number of those pages from um, Breakfast is for Lovers. I love that book so much. Got, again, something on every page to look at. Beautiful iris images there. Is that iris or is that? No, those are, uh, what are they called? I want to say I know the flower of these, the name of those flowers, but I can't look that. What are they called? They're hard to keep alive, too. I can't remember what they're called. Orchid. Orchid. Oh my god, they're orchids. <laughs> orchids. Okay, I heard orchids are really hard to keep alive. There's these little journal cards right here, the little flowers. It's lined on the back. Again, you'll see me use kind of the same ones because they're huge. I can't really decorate with them, so I put them down as journal cards here. The rain of flowers on the back of this hinky here. This awesome book page. I love this yellow book page. It's actually like a Betty Crocker 1970s wrist, uh, cookbook, and I love the color of it. 
I love when books are other colors other than white. You know what I mean? With their yellow. Or you know what else I like is the um, cookbooks with the blue text. Love it. I don't know why. I love books that are not that are that are white, and I love blue text cookbooks. Here's a recipe here for German chocolate pie if you want to make it. <laughs> it's all the recipe right there. You can check it out. Here's another one of these uh, printable memo pads. There. Lots of threads everywhere. There's threads everywhere on this journal. If you don't like it, you can cut them off. <laughs> But I've had a lot of people request that I leave threads in. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing is leaving them in. Okay, you gotta give people what they want. Here's a journal card right here. Here's some butterflies. I love the butterflies so much. Here's another one of those tags that I made these so long ago. I can't remember when I made them. I made these a long, long time ago. I got the page tags right there. I gotta decorate more of these pockets because I've run out of them. So that has to be done. Here's another one of those um, women's hankies that I love to do. <laughs> right, Miss G. I'm sorry. If you don't like threads, you can have a fun time cutting them off. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, the best is yet to come. Lots of flowers. Mindset is everything. Oh, I love these blue flowers. This page right here is so pretty. And right here it says we can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorns, thorn bushes have roses. By Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Here's a text card right here made from this fabric embellishment that I put together. And some little fabric embellishment there. Never be afraid of change. Some more beautiful flowers that I love. It's so pretty. So yeah, if you want to support this channel, you want to help me out today, <laughs> if you want to help me pay my rent, you can check out my shop and uh, get one for yourself. Of course, I also have all the printables that I use to make this journal also in my shop. So if you'd like to check that out, please do. I do appreciate the support very, very much so. Very, very much so. Here's some more ephemera right there and some more of the patchwork uh, fabric journals. I don't know why when I scan things, it never catches the neon. Like this right here in real life is the neon pink. But it comes out looking pastel on the scanner. I don't know. It does that with my paint too. When I try and scan something that I painted, my neon pink just becomes regular pink, and I don't know why. Can't figure out why, but it makes me angry. <laughs> it makes me angry. Daisy, are you doing the linen digis? I do have some uh, anchor chief printables in my shop. I do have some already. Yeah, they're there. Uh, they are there. They are floral hankies. Yeah, that's what it is. Vintage floral hankies. I have about four sets of the hankies if you want to check it out. Again, this one's number 118. It has the uh, pastel purple threads. Turn my card right here. Peach cobbler recipe right there. Little journal cards in this pocket here are so cute. Journal card right there. This is one of the, I actually made this into a digital, digital, but this is the original. This is literally vintage ephemera. I don't even know how I got a vintage ephemera that was black. I think it was some Carbon copy? I don't know, but I loved it. I loved it. Mary, I just saw Mary Kay. Hi, Mary Kay. I just saw ya. There's this journal card right here. Again, this is the vintage hanky printable right there.
love this lady. She's so pretty. My signature. I like to print on both sides of my digi. So one side I printed off this lady. And on the inside of it, well, on the two pages, it was these two ladies. Inside, I printed off my uh, butterfly print. It just looks so pretty. And I love it. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I hope everybody's having a good Memorial Day. I hope y'all are hanging out at home. Chilling. That's what I've been doing. I have not been wanting to leave my house. It is so hot. I really get aggravated as soon as I as soon as I leave my house. I'm like, why am I why did I do this? Why did I leave my house? <laughs> it's so hot. I hate it. <laughs> Every time. Every time I try to leave my house. The black on um, the black crepe on the page, I use white pen on it anywhere. Ooh, not pretty. Mary Kay says she's in the coldest room. Stay there, girl. Stay there. <laughs> uh, it's too hot outside. Here's my library card in here. There's also this little lady. Journal card here. Journal card here. And two journal cards down here. Oh, it didn't smudge. That's great. And here's the last page again. That's number 118. So 118, get it. Thank you. Let's go to number 119. Number 119 is actually a prayer journal. And number 118, of course, comes with a dangle here. And the little dangle has a little angel as well. It has two little angels. So it's kind of prayer journal themed with the little angels charms on there. And uh, number 118 has this awesome bright neon orange thread in between the patches, which I love. Let's see, so number 119, again, the prayer journal that I have left. I made two prayer journals. One sold before I listed it, and this one's the one that I have left. So this is number 118 per journal, 35 pages, 70 total, and 35 journal cards. So this one has all of my uh, prayer journal embellishments on there, and prayer journal printables as well. I have a lot of prayer journal printables in my shop if you'd like to check them out. Uh, this one says, turn your worries into prayer. A lot of uh, positive, uplifting Christian phrases and quotes in here. I love this lady. She's so pretty. There's some cute little uh, little tag and a little journal card right here in this little pocket. I love it. I gotta make more of these pockets too. <laughs> I gotta make a lot of everything here. Jesus in my heart. Focus on the Lord. Lots of butterflies, lots of flowers everywhere. This is prayer changes everything. Journal card right here. It says the word is a your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Here's a little bingo card that says Joshua 1 7 with a little cross on it. John 12 right here. Let your light shine. A page from my Ambrosia in Vogue journal kit. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Again, a lot of my um, prayer embellishments are in here. The answer is always Jesus. Some journal cards right here. Thank you so much, Miss Jude. If you do have a little moment, please do give me a little thumbs up. It really does help me out. And I thank you in advance so, so much. Put God first thing you'll never be last. <clears throat> lots to see everywhere, lots to read everywhere. But also a lot of writing space as well. I do try to put writing space everywhere that I can and stay out of the way. <laughs> Anywhere that there is writing space, I'll stay out of the way. <laughs> Here's a journal card. Uh, the, the tag that comes with this journal, I should say, 
I love these tags so much. Pray through every season with you. Here's a pocket, little cross journal card, little jar with, a, with an angel in it. Just a little journal card right here. And then this journal card from my shop says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So it looks cute there. I did a lot of embellishments, a lot of little cluster embellishments for these journals, which is what I really enjoy uh, decorating my journals with. Here's another one of those uh, printable hankies that I love. Jesus is the only reason I made it this far. This is God can hear you. I get a lot of journaling space everywhere you look. I've included some journaling space everywhere. Here's a recipe for bread, uh, for banana bread. <laughs> recipe for banana bread. Here's a journal card here. Since God's plan is bigger than your mistakes. I am saved by his grace. Here's the journal card. It says Amazing Grace. And this little cluster here that I, I love these little cluster, whatever this is called, that I made. <laughs> whatever that's called. Something to look at on every single page. Here's a passage right here. Journal cards. Just write on them. I do end up just putting Project Life cards just in random little tucks and pockets like that. Thank you, Miss Vanessa. I appreciate it. Life is short. Jesus makes it sweet. I'm excited to start new journals already. Can you believe I'm already excited? These are actually the same journal cards here, but these square ones. I don't know why, but I like to use them as pockets. You can write on it, of course. I prefer those as pockets and these as journal cards. I don't know why. I don't know when I decided that. <laughs> but I decided that a while ago that that's what I wanted to do for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Okay. Let's keep going here. Here's this uh, little messy fabric embellishment. It says pray more, worry less right there. Sister Scott over here. Jesus changed my life. A lot of flowers everywhere. Again, three signatures, fully decorated. Something to see on every single page. I love it. Here's a little angel library card. And some little birds here you can write on the back of. I used to test out recipes for the restaurant. Some of the ones that are in the journals actually do work out. Right? Here's a sweet potato loaf cake. <laughs> I don't know if I want some of that. Sweet potato loaf cake. I don't know. Uh, here's a little tag here. These tags just work out perfectly in these pockets. It's awesome. And these awesome doilies. I'm so sad I can't get, can't get these anymore. These are 12 inch doilies that I got from Michaels a long time ago. I even got like two of each. So they're just gone. They are just gone. They are just gone. I'm sad about that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sad about that. This says set your heart ablaze with fate. This says amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Over here it says grace upon grace. Here it says faith. Here's some lovely ladies. This is blessed and thankful. The little Tim Holtz people. I really enjoyed making little clusters of the little Tim Holtz people. They look so cute. Oh, you have to change them for, yeah, you're right. You would have to, huh? Here's a little prayer journal uh, car, uh, postcard here with the Acts 2035. Thank you, Miss Chu. Thank you. Thank you. Here's another journal card that I uh, collaged on. I did scan these so I could print them out. That is the original right there. Going. To do journal card right here on this tuck spot. Pick up first and you'll never be last. It's also a little mini file from my shop. I love it. I 
love it. I love it. This little um, angel jar. So many flowers everywhere. <laughs> Anywhere where I couldn't put any journaling space, I put a flower. <laughs> uh, this quote studer on me, 316. Here's a little um, cross library card, and this is Jesus is my jam. <laughs> That's a drawer. Jesus is my jam. Okay, Brian, I'm going to pray. Here's another little cross, a uh, little journal card here. This one here says, don't panic, just pray. And this jar says, made to worship. Okay, so I made actually two prayer journals. Like I said, one of them uh, sold. This one's 119. Uh, number 120. <laughs> Uh, somebody actually liked it right uh, as I was decorating it, and so they purchased it right away. So this is 120. This one is sold. This is another prayer journal that has um, a dangle, and the dangle has a little cross here and a little angel down at the bottom. So I even themed the dangles. <laughs> even the dangles go with the theme, right? So I love that. Again, prayer journal number 120. This one is sold. Um, so they're flipping on every page. I didn't even I didn't even end up taking pictures of this one because it's so so the other ones are listed. You can check them out in my shop. I do appreciate your support so so much. Here's a pocket here. I don't think she hasn't seen the journal cards. So here's the journal cards. A little cross here. This one here says uh, always be joyful. His grace is enough. Little journal card right here. There's a uh, paint chip. <laughs> I love. I grab like five of these every time I go to Walmart. I try to speak to that. <laughs> and then right here, you guys, there was like this guy showing off his pics, and I was like, oh no, this is a pair of journals, so we're gonna cover that up. So I did censor it a little bit, <laughs> just a tiny bit. I was like, I know man, I know God created this man, but he needs to cover up his nipples. <laughs> so I did end up censoring him a little bit, just a little bit. I mean, I censored him entirely out. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It's the, uh, the patchwork page. I put that one in the middle. It's so pretty. Journal card right here. If you have enough to see on every page, I made two prayer journals with this collection. I'll keep doing that. I'll make one or two out of all the journals that I make prayer journals till I build up a small little uh, stash in my shop or they sell out. Either one. I'm happy with either one. Here's a little fabric tag right here. Little recipe for, it's recipe for, for a simple tort. I don't even know what that is. Let me get some other one. One moment. One moment. <clears throat> okay, okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay, okay. Kind words are like honey sweet to the soul. And here it says, the heavens declare the glory of God. Here's a little bird nest. You can write on the back of Isaiah 40, 31. This awesome one says, prayer journal on prayer warrior, I should say. Turn your prayers into a war. That, I just saw that in the last one, and I was like, did I use it again? But this is a different journal. <laughs> uh, different journal thing. Here's a little angel jar and a little cross library card right here. Pray without ceasing. Our king is a king of love. A little bingo card here says James 1, 2, 4. A little cross on there. I love this jar and I it just I like the roses that surround Jesus right there. He looks so cute. And then it's lined on the back. It looks so pretty. A little journal card right here. A mini postcard of little angel, and this says God is good here. A 
the jars. I love the jars too. I am obsessed with jars. Here's a little couple right here. We walk by feet, not by sight. Here's the um, hinky crumble and the postcard to the one three. You guys are too kind, thank you guys so much. Too kind to cry, thank you. So the bird right here. I have one more to show off after this. I think that's it. <laughs> I always say it's gonna be a quick little flip through and somehow, <clears throat> somehow it's always an hour long. I don't know how that happens, <laughs> but somehow all my flip throughs are half hour to an hour long. I really don't try. <laughs> I don't try to go for this length of time, but it happens. Here's the journal card in this one. Here's um, <clears throat> my book page tag for for this journal. Every journal came came with one of these. It came with two book page tags, I should say. Oh, I'm going to miss these doilies so much. It's so sad. <laughs> it's just so sad. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Here's the last signature of this journal. I'm exactly what God, what I needed in my life is God is my provider. This pretty lady here. And here's a, one of the three pocket pockets I make anywhere with Jesus. Um, here's another little um, angel jar and a tag that says, when I wait, your strength, when I wait, you strengthen my heart. And then here's a journal card with a little rose on it. This is actually one of the hanky printables. It's just one of the plainer ones, but I like the border so much. So much I love the border. Journal card. Here. Yeah, I don't really journal. My hands end up hurting when I write, and I can't write. I, it's probably not a good thing. Like, my hands are too weak to write for too long. <laughs> it's probably not good. It's probably not a good thing, but what are you going to do? Journal card right there. Again, this one is number 120. This one has been sold. But I still want to show it off. I always <clears throat> show off my journals even if they're sold. I need something to remember it by. <laughs> I make these flip throughs so that I rem remember all the journals that I've made throughout time. <laughs> I believe I've done a flip through of all my journals that I've ever done. Uh, be still and know that I am God. Psalm 4610. Uh, sand cake. There's a recipe here for sand cake. I have never heard of sand cake. I have never heard of sand cake. Here's a pocket and a tag here. A pocket, a journal card. This is a pocket and a tag. Oh my gosh. And I love these pockets. I made these from a uh, cardstock that I um, take polished napkins on top of. This right here is actually one of my paper designs that I printed on napkin to do this, and I love it. I love it. Here's the cross journal tag, a postcard, something on every page again. Something, something on every single page. The lady right there. God is with her. She will not fall. That's number 120. This baby is sold, and thank you so much for your support. I really, really thank you. Okay, last journal we gotta go through this is number 121. 121. Regular junk journal comes with this beautiful little journal dangle. I love making these. These are so much fun to make. I'm like obsessed with making everything for junk journals, honestly. Everything that I make for Dr. Rose, it's just fun to spend time making it. <laughs> uh, this one has a nice, like, wine color, burgundy color thread in between all of the stitches. I love, this is, this patchwork I actually made using receipt paper. 
I sewed all these little pieces to receipt paper and then I sewed all those lines together. So <laughs> all of these patchwork journals have kind of been like a different technique. Again, this is the last journal I'm showing off, number 121, regular junk journal here, three signatures. It has the um, fabric and lace trim that I like to make, which I need to make more of it. Um, again, just positive uh, phrases and quotes everywhere. Lots of journal space, lots of journaling cards. Let me do the, the details on this journal, number 121. It has 39 pages, 78 pages total, and 35 journal cards. So, there's almost one journal card for every single page that is in here. And I kind of love that. I'm not going to lie. I love that. <laughs> Here's a journal card right here. And I usually print these on the back of scrap of paper. Or I print lined paper on the back of these journal cards whenever I can. Make sure to do it. Some writing space right there. Writing space right here. Practice makes perfect. Uh, these uh, fabric embellishments that I made. Those are fun. There's a journal card right there, bingo card. Oh, why do I love putting these doilies in there? I don't know if I love it. I love, love, love the doilies. So if you want to join me tonight on my channel, we um, are going to be starting new junk journals. So I'm excited about that. Let's get started on some new ones. Now that I worked kind of this whole weekend, I made ruffles. So I'm back in business. So I think that's the only thing I need to make. I think <laughs> I'll have to uh, I'll have to check, but I think that's all I need to make to make new journals. Let's see here. Here's a little envelope here with clear seat pocket with uh, one of my button card printables. Yes, button. like that. This is an awesome memo pad I found at the dollar store. I love this memo pad. It always looks so cool against other other uh, journal cover, uh, other scrap of pages. Uh, whoop whoop ruffle business, right? Oh, I'm going to show you the ruffles when I made it. I will tell you what, I spent about I didn't want to think about how much time I spent making these ruffles because I spent a lot of time <laughs> I spent about two and a half hours earlier making ruffles, and most of yesterday I spent making ruffles. I had nothing else to do, so I figured let's get us started on these ruffles. Here's the fabric. Uh, I sewed some fabric onto a tag here. Um, here's a recipe for chocolate chip bars. I love chocolate chips. Journal card right there. Get another journal card right here. Anywhere where there wasn't journaling space, I added a journal card too. <laughs> Just so you're aware, our little journaling spots that we could write on them. Again, I love non white books. Books that are different colors. Oh, I love it. I love it, and I'm here for it. There's another one of the pockets. Journal, big journal card here. Why not? Because why not? That's why. <laughs> Daisy makes the best ruffles and awesome method she uses, so check her out tonight to live. I might even come on live in a few hours to make the ruffles because I haven't made ruffles in like 10 months. So I don't have a current video on how I make them. So I'm going to have to. Either go live today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Probably go live tomorrow during the afternoon. Keep on making ruffles. Sauerkraut with potatoes. There's a little recipe for that. Here's another little pocket with a postcard and a tag. Um, some of my awesome new um paper. I love that paper. Daisy, you have to make ruffles today. I am going to make ruffles today. I don't know if I'm going to make a video. It's three videos in one day. It's kind of a lot. I can space it out to two videos in two days instead. 
<laughs> Here's this right here. But I, I did spend a lot of time yesterday cutting down the fabric. Cutting down the fabric kind of takes some time. So I guess I got a glue again. But um, I did make sure to cut a bunch of fabric, so I'm ready to make ruffles. I can't believe it. it's been 10 months, y'all. It's been 10 months since I last made ruffles because I will sit here and make a lot of it. So that way I don't have to make it very often. <laughs> I will make a lot, a lot of ruffles. So we are almost done here. We are on the last signature of the last book. This pocket right here, I love this pocket. I, I actually went to Home Depot to get uh, a house keys. I made a copies of my house keys and they put them in this little pocket at the machine to, to go pay for them. And so I grabbed that little envelope. I'm like, this is going in a journal because look how pretty this pocket is. I love it. <laughs> so you have a little piece of me right there. I, I had to, I had to do that to pay for my, my keys. I love it. Here are these little uh, journal cards right here. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you guys so much for your support. Or even if all you do is watch my videos and leave me a little comment. I right, thank you so, so much for your support. There's a journal card right here. Again, if you want to watch me start up new drug journals, I will be starting that up tonight. Make sure you join me at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 12 a.m. Eastern, I'm Central Standard Time, and 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here's the, the book page uh, tag that you get with this one. Hearing my cat. Okay, I see where he is. I keep hearing this sound. I'm just like, what is that? It's my cat. He's in his little cat tree. I couldn't see. <laughs> Y'all are too kind. Y'all are too kind. If you never try, I'll never know. That looks so pretty there. Here's another one of those hanky printables. Here's this. Here's that. That's the last page of ours, last journal of number one, 21, y'all. Now, before I go, let me show you how much, how many ruffles I've already made. <laughs> Check this out. This is how many ruffles I've already made. Now, this is a lot of ruffles, okay? This is what I made in two and a half hours, two hours, something like that. So, this is today, and then this is this weekend that I made. I spent about four hours <laughs> making these ruffles and about two hours making these. So uh, I can't tell you how many feet it is, but I love making ruffles. It just takes a long time, but it is such a such a calming process that I really enjoy. I'll be making these ruffles probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow afternoon I'll go live to make these ruffles. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that today, but you can see me tonight when I start on the junk journals. So thank you guys so, so much for your support. Again, I do appreciate it so, so much. If y'all can uh, help me out purchase a journal. Um, if not, just give me a little thumbs up and leave me a little comment on this video. That helps me out too, so much to me. Thank you guys so much. I hope y'all have a good day and I will see y'all tonight. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. Bye.